Hey everyone, Alex Litvinchek is here and welcome to this video. So if you're a car dealer or if you're a salesperson at the dealership or if you're general manager or marketing director of a dealership or if you're a digital marketer who wants to learn effective and more predictable ways how to sell extra, you know, two to five cars per week with the power of Facebook advertising, this is the video for you. Because in this video, I'll show you everything you need to know to, uh, to start generating leads and start uh, selling extra cars, uh, closing these leads and start selling, you know, extra two, five cars per week. And even if, and you can do this, even if you never created any ad, because I put together this video, it's like step-by-step -step tutorial that, that will take you from A to Z. If you're a complete beginner, and by the end of this video, you're gonna be expert with Facebook advertising for car dealerships. And I'm gonna pull back the curtain and I'll show you everything we do in my agency, all, and I'll show you live examples of ads that are actually performing. So you just literally just, you will be able to just copy and paste these ads, just see this, uh, take a screenshot, and be able to set up the exact same ads because they are proven to work. And I'll show you also the type of content you need to post uh, on your Facebook business page that actually attracts more local car buyers. I'll show you also the exact uh, process of setting up step by step I'll take you I'll take you inside the ads manager and we'll create our first Facebook ad that will generate leads that would uh, that will convert into car sales everything seriously this is going to be the only one video you need to watch to be uh, to be successful with Facebook advertising in this automotive industry and most importantly I know how I know how it could be hard uh, to find the good information out there and you're probably wondering is this video worth your time and I know there are a lot of information on YouTube and it's really hard to find something valuable so my promise to you in this video by the end of this video as you as you're gonna stick with me till the end you're gonna learn everything you need to know so you can you know skip all the unnecessary stuff and looking for other uh, stuff it's gonna be everything packed I packed one everything in one in this one video so also you're gonna learn from someone who already done it over and over again so I've, I've spent million dollars over a million dollars in this industry perfecting Facebook ads because my agency if you don't know me uh, I just do a quick intro introduction my name is Alex Lidminchuk and I'm a founder of the company Auto Dealer Boost and we spend over a million dollars uh, we work with franchises also as a uh, as a small independent dealerships and we spent over a million dollars perfecting these strategies in this industry. So I'm going to be sharing with you exact ads, exact strategies we do to sell extra car, uh, you know, extra general leads and sell extra, you know, 5, 10, uh, 15, 20 cars every single month with the power of Facebook advertising. So, uh, so it's not, I'm not just sh telling you this to brag or anything like that. I'm just going to, uh, I'm just showing you and telling you that this, this is, you're going to learn from someone who uh, who already done it. So you're gonna learn from someone who knows what the heck is talking about. So also, uh, with, this is some of the uh, some of the recent results uh, of our ads. And as you see right here, we have uh, we we set up we set up systems that actually uh, that actually uh, produce a test drive appointment bookings. And this is the calendar of our, one of our clients. It's actually pretty recent. And as you see, it, they were packed with uh, with 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 uh, people who are ready to purchase the car uh, and they were booked out for an entire week for uh, test drive appointments. This is some just some of results. Oh, by the way, from there we were able to sell 48 vehicles from uh, from that uh, one campaign. Here's you see just uh, uh, some other results that we've, uh, we've been producing. So before we get into this video also, this is what you're gonna learn in, the, in today's video. It's not only working for me and my agency and my team, it also works for other people who uh, you know who I mentored and coached and they were able to produce the exact same results right here we have Christopher he said first day uh, running ads and book three appointments here we have Steven he said so far I've generated 176 leads uh, through Facebook and 29 applications he means uh, credit uh, credit applications on a client on his client website he is actually a marketing director in uh, inside in the dealership and he said uh, he was able to produce this type of results and this is the content uh, he was he was uh, watching this type of content this video and this is the results he learned so as you're gonna stick with me in this video you learn the exact same strategies the exact same ads he set up to produce uh, this many leads and get and sell 15 cars so with that being said let's just dive into this video so here is exactly what you're gonna learn so you're gonna learn the type of content to post on your Facebook page 
to attract uh, local car buyers because I'm getting this I'm getting these questions pretty much this exact question every single day you know what type of content to post so I decided to put this also pack in this video so you would know exactly what to post to that uh, the type of content that actually will attract more uh, that will grow your Facebook page and attract more uh, local uh, buyers to your page so you can uh, also organically generate some sales the next thing you're gonna learn in this video the common mistakes and uh, that what people do when they just start advertising specifically in this automotive industry with Facebook ads so I'm gonna be showing you what you need to avoid so you wouldn't waste you know thousands of dollars for uh, just something that doesn't work I'm gonna be showing you everything that actually works today and uh, so you can you know save your time and energy and most importantly your uh, your money right so the next thing I'm gonna be showing you the best performing Facebook campaigns for uh, for car dealerships that actually are proven to work so you can eliminate the guesswork and you can just see, I'm gonna show you what works you just copy and paste and exactly implement for your clients if you're a digital marketer or for your business for a current uh, do, uh, you know car sales business the next thing I'm gonna be showing you is Facebook ads examples I'll show you exact examples uh, for dealerships that we ran that generated hundreds hundreds of sales for our clients another thing I'll show you step-by-step -step Facebook Facebook ad creation I'll, sh I'll take you by your hand and we go inside the manager and I'll sh we'll create our first ad the ad that will actually perform well the, with the exact strategy that you're gonna learn on this video so this video will cover everything to to be able to produce results so and everything you need to know packed in this video so let's start with the first one what type of content should you post on your Facebook page right because this question is very common and it's super important to have some type of start building your brand on Facebook right Be, uh, so uh, around your brand so when you also run ads people will look at your brand look at your Facebook page reviews so as sooner you start as better for your business for your dealership business for a client business so uh, what type of content should you post so here's uh, f four type of uh, this is the four type of uh, things we recommend to post for our clients and the type of uh, the type of stuff that actually works so if you want to start growing your page and attract local car buyers to your uh, page organically here's what you need to do so you need to post minimum five times per week ideally every day if you can post every day if, uh, if usually we recommend uh, car sales people who work at the dealership post every single day on the page on the dealership page and here's the four types of, of content right the first piece of content is your inventory vehicle pictures right so you take you, you either take it from the website or, or uh, whatever whenever you upload to your website or someone whoever takes pictures of vehicle so you want to post specific vehicle for example it's 2017 uh, I don't know Ford Fusion right so you take these five pictures and right now in a second I'm, go I'm gonna be showing in the exact examples uh, but I just want to give you a basic understanding of this so it's gonna be easier for you to uh, to digest this content so you want to take a, uh, a t uh, take a specific car uh, Ford Fusion 2016 and post on your page with a description about why people uh, uh, why will why people should buy this car why, uh, what is the specifications how uh, what is you know what is the mileage of that car what is the cost how much down you want to give us more information as more detailed information for the person so they can see once they uh, you know look at this post look at the content on your page so you want to post every day a different uh, everyday different car for example a Monday you post uh, you got a new inventory you got Ford so you post uh, uh, Ford 2016 right the next day you post uh, another car so every day you want to have this type of content also every day you can post as most these short videos you know uh, 20 second videos you can create with uh, with a free app that I'm gonna be showing you in this video also that you can create it super easy uh, so this type of uh, people like videos and this is really engaging content and I'll show you how to create this so this is a, uh, this is another type of content you, you need to post on your Facebook page another type of content that I recommend you to post is go live uh, either record videos or go live go live on your page someone if it's uh, 
if you have someone who is responsible for content if it's a if it's a marketing person or if you don't have a marketing uh, you know director or team uh, in your dealership then usually the car sales people they, they, they should do this you guys should do this you want to go live uh, just with your phone you don't some you don't have to be you know extroverted you don't have to show your face sometimes you just look take your phone and just do kind of like a, a give a tour uh, showing people what is on the lot what is currently you have for sale and just show uh, show the car inside the car show uh, show the actual car show multiple cars and uh, and then talk about uh, about specific car right what is uh, what is how much down what is uh, actually uh, what is the specification of these cars and as more uh, as more detailed information you'll provide for your viewers as better so uh, ideally if you can do this uh, twice uh, twice a week just go live uh, and just talk about this uh, about new inventory about uh, that you're getting or about the five cars that you're uh, that you're that you need to sell right and another one this one is the most powerful probably out of all of those uh, four is customer testimonial pictures this is I can't stress enough how important it is to post on your uh, Facebook business page a testimony a customer uh, you know people who bought a, uh, a car with you uh, post this type of uh, pictures on your Facebook page so it's like a it's a testimonial and people see that actual people buying from you but these are the four types of content that you need to be posting to start uh, creating a brand start growing your following and actually or attract local car buyers to your page so they can message your page then you can pick up from there and schedule an appointment and get them to the door and sell them a car so if you're gonna do this you you will attract you will be able to sell extra you know one two cars a month just by creating content just like I'm doing right now, I'm creating this content for you. You need to be creating content for your dealership, for your brand. So here's the exact examples, right? What do you need to be posting? So here are the posts of uh, vehicles that just, uh, I was talking the examples. So right here you see, uh, here we have uh, some copy in Spanish and in English. This is kind of what I recommend you to do if you are, uh, if you have, if you're somewhere in, you know, south of United States, you have a lot of uh, Hispanic people they they'll uh, you know you need to be posting uh, on both languages it attracts more engagement so right here just as you see just car and a small copy of, of a description of the car and uh, just multiple angles uh, shots of the specific car and just as simple as that this is type of content as I was talking about this is uh, this is your inventory vehicle pictures the next one I was saying is a video content examples or live videos show showcasing the inventory so uh, let me just play real quick, just a couple of seconds. This one is in Spanish, so let me show you. Buenas tardes, buenas tardes. Yo me llamo Charlotte Jeff, pero he hecho mira nada más de mucho inventario. Van llegando muchos carros. Lincoln MK es modelo 2010. Hay ganito de Se lo lleva casi todos van a ser venir el día de hoy. Mira nada más. So yeah, he is talking super fast, but this is uh, this is kind of the as I was showing you live videos, just you know showing around the dealership, showing the cars, talking about what you have, maybe some specials going on. So this is how you, this is the type of videos you need to be creating uh, twice a week, as I mentioned before. The next one, this this is the customer testimonial pictures. So right here, as you see, this is how you uh, take pictures of you know just ask them, hey, would you mind just stand you know stand right next to your car and we just take a picture with you so we can uh, post on our page and usually people say of course yes they're happy that you provide an amazing service you sell them uh, the you provide them the solution for the problem right they they want a vehicle you sold them and they're happy they would love to you know to help you out too right so just uh, and take picture of them and you post uh, so also you can tag this is the beauty of social media nowadays so after you post them you can tag that person this is a this is a ninja tip. You can tag that person that you sold the car, so then she will be she will, uh, so then all her friends will see that she purchased the car from this dealership, and also her friends will start asking and start engaging on this post, and like hey, uh, or start messaging your page if they need a car, and that this is kind of this is the beauty of the, you know this is the nowadays referral program. This is how people refer friends through social media right back in the days they were like you need you know talking uh, word of mouth I mean word of mouth is still working but like people refer right now on social media so if they tag their friends if you tag the person everybody gonna see that post 
So that's the power of social media. That's why you need to implement this today to your business. So the next type of content I want to show you is uh, how to create this type of videos, uh, small videos. I'm going to be showing you how and uh, how you can create this type of images, right? So it's going to be engaging. So these are the two platforms. This absolutely free, and if you if you you don't have to be you know crazy be crazy a graphic de designer or have some uh, be a technical wizard to create this uh, type uh, type of content. There are two different types of platform that absolutely free you can use to be able to to produce your content uh, for your page. So first one is called InShot, and second one is called Canva.com. These are two platforms. So first, let's start with InShot. So InShot, this is uh, this is great. You can install on your phone. Just type. This is the the type in your on your phone um, app store or Google Play and type InShot. You will find this app. Install it. And this is how it works. I'm uh, I'm not gonna show you because it's pretty long. I wanna just be go straight to the point. I'll show you exactly how it works. So. So you pick the video after you install this app. Just pick the video from your, um, uh, f you know, the video that you made. You know, just sh uh, shoot a small video, like 20 seconds of a specific vehicle, or just a video of your dealership. And then you can add text right here. You see, just right here, right here. If you click, you can add text. Then you can type text. Let's say, oh, down payments, right? And then you can uh, add what else? You can add some emojis right here, right? I'm gonna make it real quick for you because I wanna provide as much step-by-step -step kind of value for you in this video. So we have, boom, we have uh, emoji, uh, emojis right here. And then you can put, pick colors off. So this is, you've seen these viral videos, how people create, this is how they do that. And this is absolutely free, you can do this as of right now. So then you just, this is how you pretty much create the, uh, these videos. Just shoot a video, create it. The next thing is uh, called Canva.com. This is where you can uh, easily and fast create this um, this uh, these graphics, uh, beautiful pictures uh, to post on your Facebook page. This is absolutely a free service, and they already provide with with templates for Facebook with the exact size of the image you need uh, that Facebook likes, right? So everything right here. You have social media posts, you have Facebook cover, Facebook posts, you know, Instagram posts everything right here on this uh everything right here you just uh, upload your your picture your car on the platform you could create design and start creating the ad just drag and drop to add text it's super easy it's not like photoshop nothing it's really really easy and everyone can do this so this is how you can create content for uh for your page and this is how you start attracting more a more local buyers start growing your page which is uh, which is will convert into more leads, more car sales for your business. So now let's move on to the next um, to the next step with more uh, dive deeper, more in Facebook ads, right? So uh, before we dive right into the Facebook ads, so you won't be overwhelmed with the terminology I'm gonna be using because I know it, it could be hard. And, because I remember, let me share a quick story. Uh, when I uh, when I was first teaching Facebook ads. Um, was mentoring uh, people in my program and uh, I was like going in, in, using stuff like you know call audience traffic uh, you know conversion uh, CPA conversion ratio and all that stuff and they were like man it's so confusing so I'm gonna learn my mistakes I want to first give you um, like brief explanation of uh, some terminology that we use so it's gonna be much much easier for you to understand so I want to make it as I want to make sure that it's gonna be super uh, very easy to digest this content for you. So cold audience, right? There's cold audience and what is traffic? So uh, cold audience is people who don't know who you are, who never, uh, who has never seen your brand before, who never heard about your, uh, about your dealership. And uh, th the traffic is pretty much traffic. This is, uh, uh, this is not the traffic you sit at, at when you're driving somewhere. This traffic where you are the people who visiting your website. So it's the, uh, this is the term traffic, right? And the next one we have warm audience, right? Warm audience, the people who are actually, who know who you are, they know your brand, uh, they know your brand and uh, they actually convert in, uh, the conversion ratio, right? They, they convert higher because they know who you are. The next one we have retargeting. So retargeting means that we show your ad specifically to someone who already previously, right, engaged with your website, right? Who visited your website previously. So uh, you kind of pixel them 
Uh, so you, grab, you, you have the data that that person visited your website and we'll be talking about this in a second too so it's going to make more sense but the retargeting is basically showing ad to people who, uh, who previously were engaged uh, in some way with your brand okay so and then lastly we have offer lead magnet bite uh, this is exactly this is the, the, the content we use that uh, when we create our ad so this is uh, this is just quickly uh, we, we ran through this uh, again like cold audience warm audience cold audience people who don't know who you are warm audience people who know who you are retargeting uh, uh, when you're showing your ad to people who previously engaged or visited your website or your page or on your email list uh, or offer lead magnet is this is what you're using in your uh, or offering people in your ad so now I see so many people when they start advertising on Facebook they're doing the biggest mistake ever that they can possibly do it's called boost a post so I'm sure you've seen on your Facebook page this button right right here it says boost a post so uh, I see a lot of people spending hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars on on this like boosting a post uh, and and they don't see any type of you know results on ad, with Facebook advertising and then they quit and then they say oh you know what I've tried Facebook ads that's what a lot of dealership owners tell me like oh you know I've tried Facebook ads but it just didn't work for me and I ask what what type of what type of ads did you run what what, what did you do and they're like you know what I boosted a post and this is this is the this is the the worst way of uh, this is the worst way you, you can ever possibly do because. When you're boosting a post, you, Facebook doesn't give you entire options of targeting. It doesn't. Show, it doesn't give you all the power of the all the tools that you could possibly use to actually create ads. So obviously, you will fail if you will boost a post. Plus, Facebook created not too long. I think it's they implemented this only two years ago. This boost the post button because they want more people to spend money, so they're gonna make more money, right? So before that, they didn't have the button like two two and a half years ago. They were not that boost the post button but not since they created that people start oh it's so easy i'll just go click on the button boost the post gonna create ad i'm gonna be making millions of dollars and start advertising people everyone will buy my cars no that's not how it works you need to go behind the scenes inside the ads manager and create ads so this is wrong never do this never tell your friends no no one should be doing this that's what I'm saying. You need to go behind the scenes, and this is where the magic is happens. You will have entire, you will be able to uh, to have entire Facebook uh, capabilities of targeting, of creating audiences, uh, getting access to business manager, and all that good stuff. So uh, let me actually, you probably won't see right here. So let me do this. So right here to to get into this ads manager, right? To to get into this, if you're gonna click on your Facebook uh, on this triangle. You're gonna see something like create ads or manage ads right here so this is how you're gonna get into the ads manager this is how where you will be able to create ads properly so uh, if you're gonna click here uh, you will see ads manage ads or create ads so this is uh, how you can get into ads manager but don't don't do it right now uh, stay stay with me till the end of this video so then you can practice because I'm gonna walk you through step by step and we're gonna create this this is just showing you the power of what is actually uh, going behind the scenes and creating a real ads and, uh, and and just taking advantage of the full power of Facebook advertising so as you see it allows you to create uh, create gives you more options different objectives different campaigns to create you can create brand awareness reach I know if you click on boost and uh, boost the button it also gives you all this stuff but trust me it doesn't give you all you you cannot create you know lookalike audiences custom audiences and I know it sounds confusing right now but we'll talk about this also just in a second but trust me this is the right way to create Facebook ads this is what you should be doing so now the next thing uh, also before I forgot this is a ninja tip you need to create a business manager because a lot of people who are on Facebook advertising Facebook especially dealership uh, if you're a dealership owner again car salesman or if you're a digital marketer you need to have a lot of marketers they have business manager but like I know a lot of owners who are trying to step into Facebook advertising game they don't have a business manager so make sure to create a business manager this is uh, this is a ninja tip 
if you go to business.facebook.com uh, it's absolutely free it's just like creating uh, so instead of so instead of running ads from your personal account uh, you'll be uh, creating ads from your it's kind of like setting up business for uh, for your business with Facebook so it's free it's super easy just follow the steps they ask for some basic information your uh, your website your dealership name and that's it this is I just remember that before I forgot so I want to share with you that so now the next thing is super important when you start advertising on Facebook is installing a Facebook pixel so what is Facebook pixel I know it sounds like super tacky and coding especially when you see this like crazy stuff going on here with this uh, with this all letters and the numbers so Facebook pixel is nothing to be scared about uh, scared about it's like a simple code that you don't have to do it yourself you just uh, send this code to uh, to someone who manages your website they will install it for you uh, just send this code and you can get it if you go uh, on fa on Facebook my, on your ads manager there's a pixel you can install this uh, install this code uh, you can get this code and then send it out and they will do and they will install on your website for you so you may you probably thinking why would you do that so this code this Facebook pixel th this will allow you to actually to uh, to track every single person who will visit your website will be added to your audience so then in, in future you can uh, you can re you know you can retarget them with your ads so if um, in simple words if you ever been you know shopping around online maybe you went to see that uh, I know different gene you know online for uh, you were shopping for I don't know for boats online anything you were shopping online and then after you went to Facebook you probably seen these ads on Facebook you like how the heck they know that I was just looking at that and that purse or uh, at that boat or that whatever you were shopping jeans uh, t-shirts whatever it was it so that's how they do that they have this they, they have a code of uh, a piece of Facebook code installed on the website so they know if you were on their website they can show you ads now because you've been added uh, you've been added to the audience so you need to do the same so you can start creating this warm audience right the audience of people who know your brand so then you can show your ads to them and they will actually convert uh, you know convert better than someone who never heard about you because they already were shopping online they went to your website they probably were interested in that uh, Jeep uh, in Jeep 2015 but they still you know were not convinced enough so now you, you can just show your ad and like say hey uh, come here check us out or give us a call to set up appointment and boom you you just you just maximized uh, your uh, maximize your dollars that you were spending maybe on auto trader or I don't know Craigslist or other platforms and now uh, if you would wouldn't show the ad to the person that person would forget about you and go to the, to the dealership across the street or to you know shopping around but now you show the ad you actually grab them back and bring them to your um, to your dealership so you can sell them the car so this is how you can maximize your profits and actually you know create uh, cr and sell more cars so install Facebook pixel super important so, and then with with the power of Facebook pixel you can create you see uh, step two this custom and look like audiences so you, you can create everyone who uh, visited your website watched your video uh, and much much more of their stuff and after that you can create a look-alike audiences so you might ask what is what the heck a look like audiences so this is the audience of people that are actually just like the just like your customers who are in the market for the car so uh, so you can create this so you can create this audience and target and show your ads to people just like your customers just like those people that you know who are in the market who are searching for cars so you can show your ads and, uh, and you know generate leads and sell your car so these are the very important step you need to take to actually uh, to actually maximize uh, uh, all the power of Facebook ads so this is uh, this is how you uh, how you can create Facebook uh, pixel and uh, Facebook audiences the next is uh, the next thing that I see is super important what type of what type of uh, you know what type of campaigns and what type of results you can set on Facebook and uh, so you can generate leads that will convert into a car sales right so as you know in sales it's always a numbers game right as more leads you will generate as more cars you will sell so we define uh, we usually do in my uh, for our dealerships and I recommend my students do uh, provide four different types there are four different types of leads not a lot of not a lot of people know about that and not a lot of people do that but there are four different types of leads 
you need to generate for your business for your clients so here here they are first it's leads uh when you're setting up uh, ads either it's a lead generation or uh conversions whatever it is it's a leads when you provide it when you're providing for a client or uh you're getting uh, for your business as a dealership owner leads with a name phone and email for example you see the ad the special promotion they put they uh, they like oh i want this so you click on the ad it gives you option to put in to input name phone number and email and then they will uh, get in touch with you so this is the 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 first way of uh that's how, this kind of what i can, came up with but this is the type of leads uh the first uh, the first type of leads you 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 can get right the second type of leads is i call them test drive appointment bookings right uh, the p people who actually scheduled a test drive so this is also a lead right that be because they lead until you sell them a car so this is the t uh, second type of leads which is the people who saw your ad and then uh, they went through the funnel uh, and we'll talk about the funnels a little bit more it, uh, I know it's maybe it might sound uh, all crazy stuff this funnels and <laughs> conversions and stuff like that but uh, so who went through the funnel they uh, they schedule an appointment booking uh, they schedule a test drive for your car uh, and also so you can you also will get the name phone number because it goes through the system through the calendar and stuff like that so uh, so this is the second type of lead the third type of lead is credit application on the website because with this because with Facebook ads you can actually uh, you can run ads and get and get this credit apps on your website so you would know if that so you would know beforehand if you want to see them if you mean me i mean if that person will qualify uh and if you're be able to approve them for certain for a certain vehicle that they're applying right so uh this is the third type of web that you can run ads and you'll get a credit applications on your website so uh so this is also leads right and the fourth type of lead is messages the people who are inquiring cars, uh, the message in your business page, right? The messages goes to your inbox, uh, inbox uh, your Facebook business page inbox. So this is the fourth type of leads. And I see not a lot of people doing this. I, I see people just, you know, just sit in one bucket and they just like, oh, oh, here you go. Here are leads, right? I see a lot of marketers doing this and they like, here's name, phone number, email, deal with it. No, you need to be, you need to be good in every single area of, of marketing and know exactly how to provide more you know different types of uh cost leads that will actually convert also there are ways to pre-qualify those leads so you don't have to deal with people that are not you know that are not serious about uh, that, that are not serious of buying a car right so that's why i recommend always to set up for uh four different types of provide four different types of uh leads for clients that actually convert into car sales eventually that's what I, that's why i'm uh, that's so important to understand that there's uh four types of leads and this is i want to show you exactly how you can set up this is and, uh, and this and get all these four types of leads right so the the this is all possible within facebook platform okay so uh, what do you need to do there is uh before we get into this there is four uh, you will be using four different uh campaign objectives to provide this type of leads so for example the first one is called conversions it's right here um it's it conversions it's usually we do it through uh we send it on a funnel funnel is other name uh it's kind of like website but it's kind of landing page and there's multiple steps uh we're leading people through so uh this is you can set it up through the funnel uh by you can set it up conversions by using conversion objective right the next one we have lead generation so it's called lead form ads this is where people just input their name phone number and name this is how you uh, this is where you create a lead generation ad so right here as you see it's all, uh, also within facebook platform and today i'm going to be showing you all that so don't worry again it's going to be everything step by step uh, so the next one we have messages so this is the messages you'll be getting to your uh, Facebook business page right so you can also set it up through on Facebook and, and get those type of leads the next one we have here catalog sales this is where you create uh, this is what I call retargeting ads dynamic ads some people uh, also it's Facebook started calling them inventory automotive inventory ads but this is where you can create them it's catalog sales also you can create them within a lead generation 
uh, objective you can also create uh, this dynamic inventory ads right here these are uh, four main objectives uh, I recommend uh, to my students to, uh, to to dealership owners to everyone who is in this industry to use to be able to target from different angles and get all those different types of leads okay so these are the four the main ones that I highly recommend be using. So I want to show you right now the strategy, the funnel that uh, you could be that you will be using. And in today's video, I'm, I'm, I will walk you through this process to actually generate leads so that that will convert into actual car sales. So here you go. So let me actually uh, minimize that. So right here, Facebook lead generation blueprint for car dealerships. So this is this is exactly what uh, how this uh, all the structure works. Before we you know jump into actual ma ads manager and creating ads. You need to understand this this process so as you understand it, it's going to be much easier for you to create ads so first one is a facebook campaign right we just talked about multiple types of uh, facebook campaign objectives so here you uh, you will start from there and then you need to help entice an offer whenever you're creating facebook uh facebook ad you need to have something that's going to be attention grabbing and something that's going to be appealing to people you're targeting so because you can you know you can advertise and spend thousands of dollars and get zero results from facebook if you just miss targeting if you don't if you do not target the right people or if your offer is not like nobody cares about so that's why it's so important to have a, a good offer for example i i recommend um i recommend to I recommend people to set up offers uh, at, uh, you know, like trading specials, right? If you're a dealership owner, you might want to, uh, you might want, you might lose money upfront a little bit if you uh, give away, you know, two hundred dollars for that trading if they purchase today with you. But then you're gonna make more money with that, right? So the same with uh, you can do. Th this is just a few offers. Uh, this is just a few offers that always work. Trust me, it's been proven. So trading specials, right? And I'll show you right now in a second an exact uh, ad that you need to set up. But uh, right here, another one you can do free, uh, free year uh, car warranty with purchase this week. Another one is could be two hundred dollars off down payment or four hundred dollars off down payment. These are worth phenomenal. So this is you want to have this type of offer. So when you showing your ad, people are like, oh, I want this. Plus. You can target people who are in market for the car and they see that you you have some trading special so they can actually trade the car and get a car with you boom this is a sale right away this is how you can scale and sell you know extra 5 10 50 100 cars a month if you understand this one concept so the next thing after they see your offer on facebook they go you're gonna ca capture the information so, uh, you're gonna capture the information name email and phone number so you get that, that prospect that lead information right so you're gonna capture the information and then you're gonna close that you need to this is important that a lot of people missing out this step you need to close that prospect for actual test drive for actual appointment because if it's just uh if it's just a lead with phone number and no one will call that lead uh, who actually opted in they will never come by themselves even sometimes i've seen pretty often whenever we provide a, a test drive bookings you st we uh we still follow up with we have bdc or car sales people following up and calling that person uh for uh, to show up to make sure that they will show to double confirm that that appointment they will show up for uh to test drive that car so this is super important after you get that lead information call them right away i recommend within five to uh within uh, within first 30 minutes call them because if you're gonna call them next day they already forgot that they saw that the ad on facebook and uh, that they put the information that's this is the typical uh response you will, he will hear from them but another thing uh they give the consent to contact them so it's not like you're gonna call them out of nowhere just like trying to sell the car so no they once once they go through the funnel you're saying them like hey you'll be contacted by our, our salesperson or uh, our sales manager who, whoever it is they know so they expect that so it's nothing nothing you know it's normal to do that so call them so you can close them for actual appointment and double confirm with them you know call day before you know uh send them email also we set up assistance to send email and messenger uh, bot bots to actually uh to to ease this process 
uh, but also we always recommend to you you can't beat the call and actual human interaction with person right you can you you can you know send emails messenger bots messages and stuff like that you can automate the heck of it but like nothing will beat actual you know interaction with person when someone calls like hey i just want to check with you uh when you when can you show up when would be the best time for you so again always follow up and close the prospect for actual appointment and the next boom they show up they like the car uh they you know they they good, look good for you they, they and you can approve them and everything boom you you make a sale this is as simple as that now Let's move on to the next process, uh, to the next, and I'll show the actual examples of ads that are performing. So first, right here, this is the uh, the example right here. We have uh, it was a five hundred dollar off uh, for a down payment. So uh, right here, as you see, it was uh, for it was simple ad, you know, simple creative. Here will be your name. Make it easy. So if you can approve people with bad credit, perfect. Uh, so then just simple it was kind of like a testimonial as you see right here that you know, person or the sale, uh, the person who purchased a car with a uh, with a car sales guy and on, on the background of a dealership and, and that's as simple as that just nothing just a simple picture that you can use as, as your ad creative as your image right you don't have to you know hiring graphic designers or anything like that you can do this so this ad as you see Right here, this ad, uh, we spent a little over uh, $200, as you can see, because uh, we were paying $4.57 per lead. Uh, we spent, uh, you know, per submit, per actual lead that submit uh, application on our website. And we see, and we see, you see here was 58, almost 60 uh, leads, credit apps. So you can count as around a little bit over four, uh, $200, right? So uh, that's what we have, and then we generate 58 leads. We sold six cars, and we track it. We track with CRM and our Facebook setup systems. The way we do, uh, that we track every. So this is not a beauty of Facebook. You, you are able to track everything, and this is a little bit. This is a little bit advanced kind of stuff where, where I'm teaching more in depth in my programs. But like, uh, you you are able to track car sales. There's a lot of ways. Also, you can track. Um, you know, there's a simpler way. A ninja tip for you simpler way you can track if they actually download a coupon right if it's a coupon for five hundred dollars and they show up to your dealership with a coupon so you know that that person because you you don't advertise the coupon that coupon I know on TV or radio you know that you're just doing this promotion on Facebook for example so that's how you can track also how many people came from your um, from your advertising efforts from Facebook and then uh, and then they sold the car but there's uh, again there's a little bit uh, more advanced uh, strategies how we can actually automate the process and all all sync up with your CRM if you have one uh, DMC uh, DMS and everything so this is uh, this is how we track the car sales so right here just to, to give you perspective we have return investment 60x look because I know I know every dealership is different I know you guys or everyone makes different uh, you know amount of money based on the car but on average let's be honest let uh, let's admit on average you make anywhere from thousand to five thousand dollars on a car I know I, I spoke to one uh, one uh, dealership owners and to one sm a small dealership owner and I'll ask uh, and ask question how much you make uh, on each car he's like I make like three hundred dollars. Sometimes I don't. I don't make money. I'll, and I asked him a question: Why? Why are you in this business if you don't make any money? And he's like, Oh, you know what? It depends. So, um, so again, it, it's case by case scenario. But I know from my experience and from my, from my clients, anywhere from thousand to five thousand dollars per if, per car, uh, you are able to make right profit. So right here, return on investment, sixty x. Right, we spent two hundred dollars. We six uh, we sold six cars. So let's say we low ball. It's uh, six thousand dollars. Spend hundred dollars. It's actually forty x. Okay, bear with me. Forty x return investment. You will never see anywhere else. If you're gonna go on TV ads, you know it, it's a couple grand. If radio the same. If you're gonna test billboards, like it, there's nothing else you ever seen this, and you're able to control all of this within you within your ads manager, do it all yourself. So this is the beauty of Facebook ads. The another example I want to show you uh, right here was also with a, uh, with a coupon, right, for some other clients. So it was simple copy. You know, we we, we did a little bit different this time. It wasn't it wasn't uh, it wasn't 
uh, off. It wasn't $500 off uh, down payment. It was like we were giving away a coupon, right? So they can bring and use as a to, to put it towards down payment. Again, it doesn't have to be $400. Could be 100. Could be 200. But as better, as more intense, as more, uh, as better, uh, you know, as as more kind of you giving away for free. As more people attract, as more leads you will generate. This is the rule of thumb. So as more giveaway, sometimes we did a thousand dollars coupon giveaway. We did even a car giveaway, and it was absolutely blow, blow, uh, blow, it was blown away. Like people, we got so many leads, we sold hundreds of cars. So, uh, so this was just uh, this is for kind of an example for you. So in this campaign, uh, it was a two, was first one was higher intent, and second one was more vo volume. So uh, as you see, we're generating leads. Uh, we spent a little bit over four hundred dollars in total. Uh, it was four dollars uh, per uh, per 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 lead uh, per lead generation higher than ten, and uh, more volume was uh, three dollars because it was Facebook. They didn't have this extra step on Facebook, and I'll show you in, in this video also how to set up this ad. So uh, by the way, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up this ad. In this video, so stick with me here. Stay with me. I know, I know we're going a lot of covering a lot of stuff, but trust me, this is gonna be, this is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be worth your time. And uh, the next thing we have, uh, we generated 120 leads uh, with, as you see in total right here, it's 120 leads. We sold only two cards, and you might ask, hey, why not? Why only two cards? Right, so many leads, but only two cards sold. This is, uh, this is was the thing because. A lot of, of those we did not pre-qualify. I, I ran this campaign was like almost a year ago, and we were I was I wasn't we were not doing a lot of stuff what we're currently doing. But still, like I think it was pretty good. One with four hundred dollars investment, we sold two cars, and uh, which is let's say two thousand dollars. So you invested four hundred dollars on Facebook ads, and you sold two cars. You it's like printing money. You'd I know what about I don't know about you, but I would all I would do it every you know every single day, giving someone hundred dollars and getting back two hundred dollars. So this is how it works. So here was an excellent return on investment. So next one we have uh, this one is pretty recent actually. So right here was uh, kind of a meme ad, something different. Um, and right here we see uh, <laughs> this is kind of there was this was different. This was a carousel ad, right? So. Uh, it, it was multiple pictures, so this one, the first one that people see, you, you want to interrupt them. Something catches, something that what people want to engage. And this also boosts your uh, re uh, ad relevance score, how relevant your ad to people. So P Facebook also will give you uh, some, f uh, will promote your post better and give you a cheaper cost per lead. So you want to have more engaging ads, uh, something catchy, something people engage, makes them laugh. So this was type of ad right here. We see uh, we were able to generate 32 messaging conversations. So this is what I was talking about. You see, this one was optimized for messages, and, and my client was getting uh, messages in car inquiries to the Facebook business page, and then salespeople were taking from there. So we spent 120 dollars, as you see right here, and we had three dollars per lead. That's a this 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 super cheap for three dollars per lead, and that potentially can make you you can make thousand to you know, two, three thousand dollars per that lead. So uh, next, we generated thirty-two leads. It's still running. Actually, just before putting together this video, this I took uh, I took the screenshot and just put it in here. Uh, and so far, we sold one car with this ad and return on investment X ten. Right, we just set it up on a hundred twenty dollars spend and also got uh, one sale. So uh, the another thing, uh, what I want to show you is the retargeting ad. So these ads that you can uh, that you can actually set up. So as you see, I'm giving you different examples so you can get get better like uh, global understanding of what type of content, what type of ads you should set up to get this all different type of leads instead of just one side, you know, being straightforward. So uh, so the retargeting ads. So normally we run a catalog. Uh, the dynamic retargeting ads with catalog and you can let me show you just an example I'm sure maybe you've seen some of those and people can scroll and the data comes straight from your website so you can integrate it to Facebook and comes uh, it goes directly and it's also on autopilot it runs on, the, on the autopilot you set it up it runs and everyone who visited your, your page who, who visited a specific for example that person who was looking for Kia right they went on Auto Trader. I know they went to your uh, Kia 
uh, uh, other location and then Facebook will pick up the data even even if you didn't have pixel stuff Facebook will pick up data and you can set and you can run this retargeting ads and Facebook will show that Facebook will know what type of uh, Kia they were looking what type of model right that person looked uh, for online and Facebook will pull up the data your inventory if you have a Kia's and show them the specific model that they were interested just like this just like right here with Jeep look at this and then they, they see on, on, on the news feed, they scroll and then they click shop. Now you can take them to, uh, to back to your website or can schedule an appointment with you, message your page, whatever you prefer. So these are super powerful. They run on autopilot and uh, I think a lot, I, 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 I think everyone should utilize them because if you pay, if you pay for that, um, if you pay for that advertising to bring that person to your website, you need to you know retarget the heck out of them to make sure that they will come into your dealership and buy a car because if you already pay money i don't know if you car gurus whatever platforms you use you want to don't you know after they're on your website you want to pixel them bring them back make sure to schedule an appointment make sure to message them that's it as simple so so then they can come back they will remember your brand uh, your brand your dealership and they will come and purchase a car so this is uh, this is how it's done uh, with the Facebook retargeting ads now what are the funnels right I mentioned some funnels and you probably what the heck is funnels so funnels is a uh, kind of landing pages usually we have a four or five step funnel and people go through that funnel and this is uh, this is how it looks it's mobile optimized because a lot of 80% of people who are sh you know who are on Facebook are right now or, or even visiting websites they're on mobile right now the the, the this this is the the uh, the technology moving so quickly so everyone is already on mobile you probably know that so uh these are funnels they uh, we build them they mobile optimize and then we actually these are kind of examples few of them so you can guys can get an idea also you can take screenshots and stuff like that so uh so you can actually create we create these funnels uh, this is a little bit more advanced. Uh, I'm not gonna go over because if I would show you how to build these funnels, it would probably take me another three hours on this video. This is uh, this is gonna be for the next content, uh, or you know, for the next video. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss of any of those awesome content. I'm gonna be showing you how to build funnels, what are actually our con converting uh, offers for the funnel, how to set up uh, uh, schedule systems and all that. So this is um, so this is how the funnel looks like. Uh, also, uh, so instead of sending to website, it's also the funnel they pre-build everything optimized to actually convert them into uh, for the outcome you want to get out of the lead, right? Uh, a credit application, appointment, a phone call, everything within the funnel, uh, and this is how it looks like. So now, this is my uh, automated digital marketing funnel strategy. This is the uh, three three phase funnel uh, you know, funnel strategy that everybody should utilize. In uh, I, I know not a lot of people know that I never shared this before. So this is something also can take screenshot or something. Uh, and, and this is this is how it works. So right now, uh, if, if we, uh, you we usually start out with with Facebook ads, right? So phase one, you, we're gonna start with Facebook ads and today I'm gonna take you with me through the phase one. We're gonna do all that today together because I wanna show you everything. So by the end of this video, you watch this, you'll be able to launch your ads. So I'm gonna take you through the phase one totally today, step by step. Uh, and the future videos, again, on my channel, I'm gonna be sharing you, I'm gonna share and post more content like this, more strategies. So again, make sure to subscribe right now click the subscribe and uh, make sure to click on that notification bell so you will be notified where i'm posting this type of content so the phase two usually will launch facebook youtube sorry youtube ads they're super powerful because cars are visual content especially if you have maybe a luxury dealership and some some high-end cars the facebook ads are absolutely killing it with facebook ads, uh, sorry with youtube ads so this is like phase two uh, that you can expand after you tried a, uh, a little bit of Facebook ads you want to test you know something new uh, expand so ex also phase three uh, you can expand further so how let me walk you through how this process works so right here with Facebook ads I first need to uh, install a Facebook business manager Facebook pixel uh, by the way if you uh, if you're looking how to you know to install to start out with Facebook business manager 
right here i'm gonna put let me i don't know somewhere on the top uh right here this is gonna be it's gonna be saving the cards this is the video i put i uh, created um a couple months ago i'm walking you through step step by step how create a business manager so uh make sure to watch that video after this one so don't click it right now watch it afterwards uh exactly how you can create business manager for your uh to, uh, to advertise on Facebook this is gonna be the most proper way to do uh, you know to advertise so so the next uh, after you create a business manager install a Facebook pixel again just uh, you know send that code to your uh, send the code I'll show you uh, I'll show you how to get the code but you can just simply send to your website provider they know what to do with it the next step will be create custom lookalike audiences so you will start gathering the data of people who are uh, visit your website so then you can anytime retarget to them and show your ads to them the next one you you want to uh, create you want to start with a lead generation campaign this is what I always recommend uh, always recommend to start out with a lead generation campaign uh, to generate leads and I will set it up today so don't worry uh, start with a lead generation campaign with a down payment offer or a trading special offer this works pretty much every single time as long as you do the right targeting, as long as you set it up everything correctly, this works. And by the way, I'll show you how to set it up with the right targeting everything today in this video. So the next step will be a follow up with the lead right after you get that lead information. Follow up like I was showing the process, uh, email, phone call, ideally all these three of these steps, email them, call them and set up one retargeting ads, uh, one retargeting ad to uh, retarget them to make sure that they uh, come in. The next phase two, again, after one, two months, whatever uh, the time you're ready to expand, try out YouTube ads. I highly recommend those are amazing. Um, and you want to install, ideally, ideally if you do it at the beginning before launching all your, uh, uh, before, be before launching all your ads, if you're really uh, serious to put in some money on Facebook ads, so I would set up, but mainly if you're a dealership owner and you have a website, if you, if you have Google Analytics, it's more than enough because then you will be, you can actually, uh, you, you'll be able just to include certain uh, conversion tag into your Google Analytics tag uh, and then it, it's, you'll be all set. So if you already have Google Analytics, so all you need to know, if you already have Google Analytics, you're all set. So don't worry about that. I know it sounds maybe a little bit technical, but all you, you're good for now. So then uh, we usually start, uh, we, we start and I recommend everyone to start with um, skip, skippable ad, you know, in stream ads on, on YouTube that you, you can click on skip. This is the ads that you see all the time on YouTube. So uh, these are the best because you don't pay until, uh, you don't pay for the ad until 30 seconds uh, after someone watches. So it's like free brand awareness. So these are super powerful and I highly recommend you to use those one. It's gonna be a little bit in the future again, let me show you stuff like that. Uh, so then, yeah, follow up with lead. Uh, set up also specific vehicle ad retargeting, retargeting ad on YouTube, and then cash out, right? Uh, sell cars. Make sure they come in. Sell the car. Phase three. This is uh, a little bit. Then you're moving on. You can add SEO, so you can rank your website higher on 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 Google searches, email marketing, messenger bots, uh, and Google ads. So normally we're using all you know all of these you know all these strategies for our clients one at a time we provide for the messenger bots we set up systems we do youtube ads facebook ads but depending depending on the client right depending on the on the marketing budget and all that uh we, we start with facebook ads and moving on if they want to go with uh with facebook and youtube ads right away boom we set up all that but again everything right now uh let's 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 get back to facebook ads and so this is pretty much, uh, this is the funnel. This is the funnel to, you know, the marketing strategy, digital marketing strategy that you need to be using to start. You can, if you're gonna implement every single phase of, the, of, of those three, uh, you know, three steps, three phases that I'm showing you, you can get within year, two years to over a hundred cars selling over a hundred cars a month. We took some of our clients who started at 40 cars selling, they were selling 40 cars a month to over 100 cars with implementing those strategies. That's how powerful it is digital marketing if someone knows what the heck they're doing. So again, I'm gonna be teaching you everything you're, you need to know so you'll be able to implement yourself to your business 
and absolutely you know start growing your business and absolutely start killing in this uh, in your space and dominate your um, your local area so everyone will come to your dealership buy a car so so next why we're actually using Facebook right why Facebook is such a powerful platform that attracts so many people so if you landed on this video so you probably already realizing the power of that what Facebook has to offer so I want to just quickly uh, show you what is what are the numbers what is actually possible so right here uh, compared to the traditional advertising 70% 70, 70 of people of age 80, 18, 18 to 45 are on Facebook right and this is I want to show that uh, this is how much you pay to reach a thousand people you uh, for, uh, compared to newspaper it's thirty two dollars to reach a thousand people compared to magazines twenty dollars radio is eight dollars cable is seven dollars Google AdWords 275 LinkedIn 75 and Facebook has only 0 0.25 cents to reach a thousand people in your area who actually already already in market for for car because with newspaper you cannot target or you cannot target people who are uh, you know searching for car so by the way all those retargeting as I was showing you those uh, those it's like having your uh, your personalized uh, you know personalized vehicles uh, newspaper showing to people uh, to people so just to give you a perspective so this is how powerful it is because you know that people are interested this is this is the potential of Facebook so uh, right here so we have Facebook ads 0 0.25 for uh, to reach people that's this this is insane we have 30% of people are over uh, 45 age on Facebook so uh, so you can target variety of ranges of people so starting from 18 uh, usually we target 21 to 45 these are like a, you know the spot for the people who shop for the car but a lot of people over 45 plus they also on Facebook so you can reach different audiences so now we have you also with Facebook you're able to see the, the exact results and reach immediately so it's not like you, you need to wait for someone to like newspaper or radio to give you all this analytics and data you can see right away right there how many people you reach how much you spend so you're in control of your finances and see what type of results you're getting immediately so that's the power of Facebook and the last one this is the best platform to start advertising and blow up any type of business either it's a dealership I know e-commerce store what no matter of the business you have this is one of the most powerful platforms to uh, to blow out any business and the targeting capabilities on Facebook are insane because you are able to target people right here uh, look you can target people uh, who are your competitors location so you can target uh, you know if you know that your, uh, your your competitor is you know three miles down the road you can actually target by location and show your ass to people who were in that location that's the power the next one you can target people who are on your email list and create the lookalike audiences so people who are actually already buyers and then you can show them different type of ads also by income ranges right if someone has bad credit no credit uh, sub uh, subprime credit I know this is very common category of uh, of buy here buy here dealerships who are looking to sell their cars so this is all within platform also you can target right here as you see uh, people who are searching for mid-size car SUVs who recently visited uh, you know websites like autotrader.com so meaning that they are in market for the car if they were on these platforms so you can all set it up within Facebook that's the power of it also you can retarget as I was uh, I was showing you previously website visitors so uh, this is also this is also uh, possible with Facebook and lastly people who are interested in specific car brands also are like uh, as you see right here Toyota BMW Lexus Ford uh, and Mercedes no matter what you can you can pinpoint and target those people so for example if you new franchise dealership owner or marketing director you you can actually show your uh, brand to those people who actually like and know this type of brand so this is the power of Facebook advertising so now creating your first ad right so uh, when we're gonna create your first ad we're gonna start off with a lead generation campaign because this one is a step-by-step -step easy process to set it up which is I'm gonna walk you through right now and everything is straight to the point so uh, we're gonna start out with lead generation campaign and uh, uh, so pretty much I want to give you right now a brief overview what is inside the ads manager 
before we jump so, so you will orientate better because I know if I would jump right now right away it's gonna be a little bit confusing so now I'll, I'll walk you through real quick right here and then we'll jump right into this so creating your first ad so this is uh, after you click right here, after we uh, after we uh, pick our campaign objective, this campaign level, right? So this where on the campaign le level you pick your objective. The next uh, it's called ad set level. So on the ad set level, uh, you, this is where you set up your ad. Here you can give your uh, ad name, uh, ad set name. Uh, then this is the uh, campaign objective that we choose. For example, messages or uh, lead generation, and this is where it shows then audience. So uh, on audience here, where this is, you can uh, see right here, audience size. If you pick certain audience, it shows you in your area how many people you're gonna target. You're able to reach. Uh, then you have custom audiences. This is where you can uh, where you can create and add these audiences who visit your website uh, and retarget them. Right. The next we have location, uh, gender, and uh, um, age, gender, and language. Right here. Then you have uh, detailed targeting. This is where you can target people who. Uh, who are searching for a specific car who were on the certain websites this is all in detail targeting so right now I'm just you know ran through this real quick so you you'll be like a pro once we get into uh, ads manager uh, so now we have demographics interests here w within detail targeting you can uh, target people by demographics interest behaviors uh, connections also who uh, who are already engaged with your Facebook business page uh, it's all within right here on the uh, on this level. So right under this, we have uh, the ne this is the continuation of that. So we have uh, there's uh, automatic placements and edit placements. I always suggest to go with edit placements because if you're gonna go with automatic placements, Facebook is just gonna advertise and show your uh, show your ad on every single platform and the partners. This is, you don't want to show your ad everywhere like you just want to show your ad on Facebook feed because this is where people will see your ad because you don't want to show ad on some type of websites like you know political websites or uh, and this certain type of websites you want to show on the news feed this is where people will see your ad and this is the most converting placement for Facebook so uh, automatic edit I always suggest to edit placements again and devices you uh, I set up always for mobile only because 80% of people using the mobile, uh, the phone, like phone device, mobile device when they're on Facebook. Uh, I, honestly, I haven't seen anyone who is sitting on Facebook, scrolling on Facebook on the computer for hours. A lot of people, it's much easier on the phone, right? So that's why you want to show your ad on other people who are on the phone. So you will, so you will maximize your budget and not spend your money on unnecessarily, right? On stuff that doesn't work. So uh, you want to set up for mobiles, platforms, I recommend two separate campaigns if you want to advertise on, on Instagram and Facebook. By the way, this is, you can also create ads and run ads on Instagram within the same platform on Facebook. So uh, I, if, you, if you would set up Instagram ad, I recommend to do separate campaign, don't mix them out so you can read the data easier and optimize your ad better. So next we have Instagram, Facebook, uh, face, you can also advertise in Messenger, also you can even advertise on WhatsApp. This is, uh, we've been running ads um, on WhatsApp and they were performing uh, great, uh, especially when we target Hispanic people. A lot of them have families in other uh, South uh, Latin countries, they're using a lot of WhatsApp. Uh, and this, we were getting so many leads, it was just blow, blow out, like we, we were able to sell an extra two three cars with that strategy this is like a ninja tip something that uh, uh, that you can also consider uh, tapping into so we have placements Facebook feed is uh, again the best placement that I recommend is right here and we're gonna dive deeper right now in a second so this was the second ad set level right campaign ad set now ad level this is where you comes to your creative right where you're creating uh, image and your copy so so moving on to the ad level so this is what are you gonna see so on the ad level you're able to uh, create ads using using your existing post that you may be posted on your page on your Facebook page uh, right here or you can create ad from the scratch so uh, so you can add, uh, you can identify what Facebook page you can use if you have multiple pages uh, also format so there's you, you can create carousel ad or you can create single image ad or you can create sli slideshow so this is where you choose the format if you if you if you create in carousel or just single image ad this is going to be everything right here uh, this is 
or how you can where we're gonna choose it now media this one you're gonna upload your image right here if you're gonna click you upload your image the ad you want to uh, that you're gonna be using so you just click there you will upload your image and the next this is goes right under this so this is where you're gonna create ad, uh, where you're gonna set up your ad this is where you're gonna create your copy uh, right here input your copy next uh, the copy this Facebook will give you a preview this is where your copy will be uh, showing up next one we have headline this is the headline where it goes right here and then we have a call to action send message right so in this case it was a messaging ad so we wanted we were generating leads they were inquiring cars uh, into uh, our inbox Facebook business page inbox and uh, so this is where you set up call to action you can choose multiple call, call to action send message you know maybe you've seen a lot more and stuff like that in this case it just only allows us to create one call to action because the campaign was optimized uh, up for messages right and so this is how the ad set uh, level look like right so, uh, sorry ad level look right, look like so again campaign objective ad set ad level three three simple steps so uh, also right here on the bottom you can uh, set up Facebook pixel uh, that's what I was uh, talking about about Facebook pixel where you set it up just right here while you're creating your ad you can set it up send the code but I uh, and then they will set it up for you so now let's dive right into and create our first Facebook ad the one that's gonna be absolute killer gonna generate your leads generate leads gonna generate sales so let me say let's just dive right into this so uh, I'm gonna go right here so after you're gonna click let me uh, walk you through back so right now to get into where we're gonna create our ad if you're gonna click right here manage ads uh, it's gonna take you to your name is gonna be just saying your name uh, you're gonna click on your name after you click here you're gonna click on your name and then it's gonna take you to something that looks like this this is called ads manager so it's gonna take you to uh, to you know to dashboard to ads manager dashboard kind of thing, and uh, right here uh, you might not have anything uh, any ads, so you might have just one green button saying here create ad. So uh, we're gonna pick up right from there. So what you need to do, click here or uh, if you would have here button create green button create. Uh, if you already have some ads here, don't worry. You need to click on green button to the left. It says create. So you're gonna click here, create, and then uh, it's gonna. I'm gonna close this. I was uh, preparing for this video. So right here we have. Uh, this is this is what I was showing you. This is where you pick the right objective, the for for to generate leads. Right. I was again. Quick recap. We have the most performing ones. Also. Uh, the most performed ones for leads right but there's other ones that we run we, we ran uh, we run brand awareness video views um it's sometimes when we create engagement and growing the pages we use engagement so but in our case we're gonna use so to not overwhelm you off with all these options again lead generation conversions catalog sales and messages these are four types of leads so you can uh, you can deliver for your clients or for your uh, for your business if you want to get the best results uh, start selling cars so in our case we're gonna do lead generation so you're gonna click right, uh, right here lead generation by the way uh, this is recent so uh, this is really cool I want to show you it's, as you see it says special ad category so you want to uh, click on this only uh, only if you're gonna directly send people to your credit app on the website so if you if you're gonna click here help it says uh, if you help if you directing people direct uh, on the website to fill out credit app you need to uh, click here so then as you see if you ads promote directly to the credit opportunity out alone uh, and stuff like that you want to click this so this is uh, this is this is a quick tip that you can utilize in our case we are not directing people to our website or anything like that we're creating ads we're creating an ad lead generation ad uh, where we're gonna gather the information so they can uh, so we can follow up sketch, uh, and get them to the door to sell a car so we're gonna go right here and we're gonna give our campaign name so campaign name uh, we will name uh, we'll give a campaign name let's say um, let's say it's gonna be four hundred dollars of down payment something like that okay you can choose it could be trading special again could be a one-year car warranty could be 
again down payment off i'm just giving you ones that like 100 percent for any dealership no matter where you at canada united kingdom no matter of your location this works it's proven to work with not only with me not only for our clients but by my students and for their clients and by other dealership owners who has done this campaign so i just want to show you something that will you know that works if as long as you're going to follow with me right now everything step by step your ad should perform so it's going to be 400 dollars off uh down payment and then so also split testing and all this uh as you see it so don't let it i don't want you to get confused this is a little bit more advanced and uh you don't need to do so just leave it as it is uh, also campaign budget optimization by the way um this one you can uh you can leave it on you can turn it on because then there's going to be the budget if you have special when you have multiple ad sets with different targeting uh, and I'll show you, in, uh, kind of give you an idea how it could set, be set up, how we set it up. But I know in September, this is going to be the only way the, red, the ad's going to run. So by the time you're watching this, you probably won't, you don't have this right here, campaign budget optimization. By default, it, it will be already campaign budget optimization. So that's why, uh, I'll sh that's why I'm going to go just with uh, campaign budget optimization. So right here... I'm gonna set up daily budget. So with campaign budget optimization, you want to have at least uh, at least two different ad sets uh, and multiple and multiple ad creatives. But don't worry if you would have just one uh, ad creative, it's fine. Just one image, one copy is fine. But you want to have at least two ad sets so Facebook can rotate and see which one will perform better, which targeting works better. So it will give you cheaper cost per lead. Uh, so you can save more money right so right here we will go with uh let's say in our case let's say it's going to be usually we set up three to four ad set but let's say in our case it will be uh we're gonna be it's gonna be just two ad sets right two ad sets so we'll set up uh 30 dollars a day so you want to have so you want to have you have two ad sets to give you just rule of thumb how you can uh, for future orientate how, what is the budget when you're setting up campaign budget optimization you want to have at least um at least um at least uh per each ad set the uh, that equals one uh, x cpa cost per acquisition uh, per, uh, per action meaning for example if you have if you know that the lead will the lead on average cost you uh as i was showing you from from my experience i know it's going to be three to six dollars right so I want to have at least ten dollars allocated on every on on one ad set. So in, in this case, I would set up twenty dollars a day, right, or thirty. As 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 higher, it's a goal will be higher, so it will perform better. But at least you want to have ten dollars for each ad set. Uh, if if you know that you'll be getting leads uh, within ten dollars, right? I know it might sound confusing, but just go. If it's going to be two ad sets, go uh the select pick. Uh, Put here twenty dollars a day. I know it might sounds like a lot, like when you're just starting out, twenty dollars a day. But if you want to make money, you need to spend money, right? This this is this how it's with Facebook. And uh, so right here, you're gonna set up twenty dollars. Uh, just uh, campaign based strategies. Just leave it as it is. Let's Facebook optimize for lowest cost per lead. So right here, we're gonna go with twenty dollars a day campaign budget optimization you're gonna click on continue so now we are on an ad set level right that's what I was walking th through previously so on ad set level uh, we want to give our ad set uh, name for example this case will be let's say this is will be for us targeting targeting um, will we'll target people who are in market for targeting will be SUVs just for a simple example SUVs and this ad set will target people who are interested in SUVs. Let's say we have SUV special, or I know, or we we want to get rid of these SUVs that have been you know on your lot for for a long time, and you know that you need to get rid of them. So, for example, this is going to be ad, uh, this ad set for SUVs, and uh, the the second ad set will be, for example, for uh, uh, sedans or for, yeah, that's that's how we're gonna do this. So. It's gonna be for a uh, target for SU uh, for SUVs. So you're gonna scroll. So here you can pick your page. So also make sure super important. 
uh, it's a, right here it's gonna say accept terms so I already accepted so you just click on view terms and then click on uh, click, click on accept terms and you'll be all set this is pretty much Facebook just uh, want to make sure that you're not uh, showing some crazy ads right uh, some uh, so yeah so make sure to accept terms uh, dynamic creative this is actually a very cool feature uh, we use a lot of on our ads but this is a little bit advanced and takes a little bit of time because you need to create multiple you need to create multiple ad variations you don't you don't have to go step into the game this is uh, this is we don't need that we want to keep it simple that works st uh, that works like a clockwork right so we, I don't want it to over complicate things this is a great feature again it works f amazingly uh, but uh, this is we're gonna I'm gonna be show, uh, you know teaching this type of stuff in the future videos so catalog so catalog this is where you can hook up the catalog from your website of your inventory so it's, it's gonna be like this carousel as on autopilot as I was showing you so we uh, in this case we're creating a special offer campaign right where the $400 off so we not we don't uh, we could use but I recommend to create a a graphic that I was showing you right I create something like that in Canva uh, some examples I was showing you because this is going to be performed much better something like that with a copy uh, or something like that 400 coupon or $400 off saying on your ad this because a lot of a lot of your results will depend on the quality of your graphic so make sure to set it up uh, make sure to have a really nice graphic so uh, so your ad will perform better so we're gonna move on to audience uh, on audience level as you see uh, uh, custom audiences we're gonna skip so right here this is where you where you're gonna pick your retargeting audience of people that visited your website in our case we just want to target people who are interested in SUV so we're gonna skip this part we're gonna move to a location so uh, as you see it says locations so we want to uh, pick our city let's say it's uh, Austin uh, Austin Texas and uh, we want to pick it says everyone in this location we don't want to you know target people who are traveling through Austin because they probably not not a car buyers right they're just visiting traveling whatever the reason they are there so we want to uh, click here and pick people who live in this location people who live in this location this is gonna be our uh, you know target audience uh, so then uh, usually you can uh, exc from here you can uh, click on exclude if you want to exclude some um, you know certain locations that you want to show our ads but we're gonna keep it all for in, in this in this example from here if you have Austin so I usually recommend so if uh, I ask my clients how far are your uh, your prospects are willing to travel to buy a car with you this by the way guys a, a question that you can ask uh, when you when you have a meeting with your client this is a great uh, question to ask so they can see that you know what you know what are you talking about so when you ask that question they usually say you know we have people traveling we have some some dealership some dealership owners saying that they have people traveling from uh, from out of state because there are different types of uh, dealership owners who are selling cars you, you know cars that they that are not uncommon and nobody that it's hard to get right for example I know uh, Ford Mustang is you know blue color and with like loaded and stuff you, you understand what I'm talking about so some people so you need to know your targeted audience you need to know how far people travel and you know your so you know your audience better than me right so in our case uh, let's say let's pretend it is just a local dealership that we have that everything is uh, that that we have people that travel in let's say 20 usually 15 to 20 miles so uh, let's say 20 mi uh, 20 miles we're gonna set up a radius right here let's say 20 miles around dealership that's what we're gonna target uh, by the way here you could put your dealership uh, address so it, it will pinpoint your dealership right and it's and then you can pick 20 miles around your dealership so uh, we're gonna just target 20 miles then age range so usually we go uh, from 21 uh, to 45 this is the sweet spot again it depends on your dealership depends on your age group but this is what we go and then here age gender so I don't want to exclude so I don't want to um, I, I don't want to exclude people and because 
you know, everyone drives SUVs. Let, I'll, I'll do Facebook, do the work, and Facebook will optimize and find me the people who are actually looking for SUV. So don't put it, don't, you know, don't exclude anyone, just keep it all, gender all. Uh, language, don't, if you if you have a lot of uh, targeting Hispanic audience, you can put, pick here, uh, put a Spanish, but if by default it's gonna be English, so we don't wanna put it here English, just leave it as it is. Then, this is where uh, the magic happens, detailed targeting. So this is where we can target pinpoint people who are in market. So. You're gonna, uh, by the way, if you're gonna click browse, you see we have demographics, interests, behaviors. So if you go demographics, uh, you have financial, like people who uh, make certain income, right? As you see right here. Um, then life events, you can ta uh, target parents, birthdays, right? You can maybe do birthday special too. We did some of those, uh, you know, some certain discounts for those who have upcoming birthdays. Uh, we have friends off uh, also uh, who has birthday in the next seven days. So the, you have the potential. Uh, just be creative, and you can you can target and so come up with different all different types of specials, and show your ad to specific category of people. But I'm just showing you what is inside right here. What is, what is the potential of Facebook, right? But interest right here, you can try to target people who are. Uh, in certain, uh, you know, interested in maybe fitness. So you can also target people by, by category, uh, by um, by going into fitness, a uh, physical exercise, all that good stuff. But again, this is just I'm I'm just showing you the potential. But what we're gonna do? This is gonna be your number one targeting to go. Uh, we're gonna click here. You're gonna type uh, type in used cars. And as you see, we have here used cars. Uh, we have uh, used car and used cars. So this audience is a little bit bigger. So I usually go with this one used car and it's going to target people who are uh, looking for used car uh, and they're in the market, right? So who people who recently were either t uh, typing in Google used car who were visiting websites uh, for uh, search for used cars. This is the audience. So this is we're going to type in here. So then if you're going to click on suggestions, going to show us a different multiple other options, right? We have uh, dealership cars.com we have um, edmunds.com autotrader.com so this is Kelly Blue Book so every single person who recently were on those websites we're gonna show this ads meaning they were on cars.com autotrader they obviously looking for the car they are in market they shopping looking around for the car so we want, we want to target the heck out of those people so we're gonna put in uh, autotrader true car all this and as you see, our audience, 52,000 people. Now, it's a little bit, a lot of people, it sounds like a lot of buyers, but we want to narrow it down, right? Because uh, not everyone uh, gonna be our buyer. So I want to narrow it down. Uh, sometimes I'm looking like in a sweet spot uh, around, uh, you know, you can target 52,000 people, it's totally fine. But I, I like to, uh, you know, a little bit narrow it down and you're gonna click on narrow audience. So since in this case we're advertising everyone who looking for SUV, so you're gonna type in here SUV, and it says here interest SUV, right? SUV. So you're gonna click. As you see now, we have we uh, narrowed down to thirty-two thousand people. SUV. So also if you click on suggestions, we have all whole bunch of different other options. This is how you can target people who are looking for truck, right? Maybe you have a lot of trucks you wanna get rid of, uh, sell car, uh, sell a lot of trucks. Boom, uh, do truck special. You have pickup truck. You have here uh, compact car trucks also, uh, four wheel driver, right? Also trucks. So also if you have just type Toyota, right? Toyota, boom, interest. We have Toyota. You can also t uh, type by um, uh, by certain model, Toyota Yaris, right? I'm just showing you, right? Uh, different options. So and you can narrow your down by uh, audience by. Uh, by different interests and this the uh, this how you can target but we don't like we are targeting SUVs so we're gonna remove those two we're gonna just keep it simple but uh, again if you click suggestions whole bunch of uh, if we're gonna uh, set up another campaign will be for um, compact car or a sedan so full-size mid-size car you can all pinpoint and target those people right here so in this case this is how uh, we're gonna just leave it as it is also, make sure that you unclick expand detail targeting because then Facebook is just gonna show uh, to more audience. And if you look, if you're gonna click right here, 
you see the potential is like 400,000 people just because Facebook will try to find just random people to opt in for your so I, that's why I see a lot of people uh, getting this like not qualified leads because some some of them just forget to unclick this and you see from 40 400,000 people we narrowed it down to 38,000 people right just by unclicking this option so add connections this is and this is when you want to target or uh, retarget maybe your fan base people on your Facebook business page so you're gonna click here and you're gonna you can target people who are liking your page you can uh, target people who are friends who like your page this is by the way great audience not many people know about this targeting so friends of people who like your page so you can target the friends who purchased your car uh, who are uh, your fans and um, you know get them also uh, engage with their page or become fans and grow your audience this is how you can do this here so uh, next we're gonna move on to placements so always 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 click on any placements Facebook wants to wants you to waste a lot of money and you don't wanna you want to keep your budget uh, and, and you know put it in the right places and advertise on the right placements so devices always click on unclick desktop and keep it on mobile always mobile okay so keep it on mobile and then you see we have here two options Facebook and Instagram if you want to advertise on Instagram create a separate campaign don't don't mix it up so we're gonna un unclick Instagram and then so what we got here we have placements so you want to uh, I suggest to have it uh, on Facebook marketplace because a lot of people it's gonna people who are searching for cars on market marketplace they will see your ad so and they are a lot of them who are searching their buyer like in, in market they're looking for a car so I like to keep this on uh, especially in this industry automotive industry for sure the next uh, unclick uh, stories we don't want to show up on Instagram stories or Facebook stories in stream uh, unclick all this stuff articles we don't want to be an article so just keep it marketplace and Facebook news feed that's more than enough for you so now uh, we're gonna move on uh, we did a split test with only people when connected to Wi-Fi this works great when uh, when they're going through the funnel because there's multiple steps we are going them through guiding them through the entire funnel pre-qualifying them so we usually keep it on in our case for this ad for lead generation don't keep it keep it uh, even if someone on mobile so we're gonna scroll down budget already set we just don't mess with this you don't need this all set up by Facebook by default it works perfectly fine don't touch here the next then you're gonna click continue and we're gonna set up we're gonna go to the third and the last level which is add level so you're gonna click on continue so right here on uh, on add level uh, we will give ad name right so will be uh, what was $400 off down payment so just give it a name so you could easily navigate and orientate within your ads manager so after that we have uh, uh, right, uh, here it shows your Facebook page uh, the, usually it's gonna be your page here you can connect your Instagram we, we don't advertise on Instagram for right now we just created for Facebook so here's what I was showing you format we have single image ad or carousel in our case we're creating an offer ad it's gonna be a single image gonna click on single image and here you're gonna click on add uh, an add image your you know your image that you created on Canva or could be just a, as I was showing different examples so you're gonna click on uh, uh, add image or upload should be here upload I already have some stuff Facebook pull out so I'm gonna click um, change image and I'm gonna use this one for example so this is just just an example for your case I was showing you what how it could look like something like that so this is an example so right here the text so this is the text that goes under the ad this is the copy so I have some should be okay uh, so I was let me pull out the text I already have some copy so right here you're gonna input your text something simple don't go crazy just simple like something like that you know limited time offer uh, here you put your uh, dealership name let's say then uh, auto sales or Kia uh, just put your dealership name dance out of sales you uh, then you're gonna say get $500 off or $400 depending how uh, how you want to go 
and then that's just keep it short and sweet and to the point and rest, as you see right here our, uh, we have our copy so headline is gonna you're gonna say something like get this special okay so now we have here get this special and we, now we need to we can choose call to action instead of sign up I would do something like uh, learn more or get a quote let's do learn more so uh, we have this this is kind of how our ad gonna look like also if you want to preview your ad how it's gonna look on mobile uh, this is kind of from mobile but I like to do if you click here and send notification to Facebook it will send notification to your Facebook uh, on it so you can open your phone and see exactly how it's gonna look on newsfeed so you might want to uh, you know maybe add emoji or uh, you know make it better uh, you know look nicer maybe the text is not nice so you can also always preview how it looks actually on mobile I like to do that so it's if you're gonna click here also if you click here you can see how it looks like on on desktop and stuff like that I'm uh, sorry uh, marketplaces uh, so this is how you can do this so now the next step is I was showing I was telling you Facebook pixel so if you're gonna click I already have some Facebook pixel you you will have here uh, just like this set up Facebook pixel because it's gonna be your new account and if you never created and set up Facebook pixel you will have here a setup of Facebook pixel so you will just click on this button and it will take you to the uh, it will take you right here as I was showing you to uh, something like that you're gonna click setup pixel and then uh, there's gonna be a couple options and then you just copy and paste this code send to developer they will set it up for you don't worry and it's super easy they do for you and then from here uh, after you set up a, a pixel uh, by the way, you can you can run this uh, you can run this ad without Pixel, so don't worry. This is for future remar remarketing. I would recommend you to uh, have that set up, but you can run because in this case we're not driving traffic to uh, to a website. We just will set up our lead form, kind of landing fa uh, lead form. It's the landing page within Facebook, and this is the next step in this creation ad. So we're gonna scroll down. We have here instant form. So this is where you're gonna uh, we're gonna create our this kind of how it's gonna look like. It's got a uh, form preview. So we're gonna create our form to collect the custom uh, our prospect information. So you're gonna click on new form. And uh, right here, uh, this is where we're gonna create our form. So you're gonna, uh, I like to give the form name. For example, it's gonna be four hundred dollars off special, something like that. And then uh, form type. So there are two different form types. So more vo volume and higher intent. I recommend you to go with higher intent just from uh, from experience because more vo volume. A lot of leads are just like they don't even remember that they opted in for this. You know that they saw this on Facebook. So go with higher intent. This is as an extra step for them to uh, to you know scroll on Facebook. Sorry, not scroll on Facebook and actually confirm that information after they input it in here. So go with uh, with the second option. Exclude. Uh, or turn this intro off. You don't want this. We want to keep it simple. Uh, so the next thing we have questions. Click on here. Uh, go ahead and click on this um, triangle thing, and then you're gonna uh, uh, headline. So we're gonna say. Four hundred dollar special, uh, or you can say get a four hundred dollar coupon or four hundred dollar special. Uh, but in this case, let's keep it uh, simple. Uh, fill out the form below. And you can say fill out the form below to get uh, this special, something like that. Okay, so now we need to, we have email, we have full name. I like to do this in order so if you click right here as you see you can drag it so drag the full name on top uh, and then you can you need to add an, uh, another question which is a uh, phone number so you're gonna click here and you see there's a whole bunch of different stuff that you can do here so we want to collect a phone number so um, so you're gonna you can also collect a uh, street address city you know zip code user information demographics all this stuff we don't need a lot of stuff we just need phone number email and phone so we're gonna uh, uh, click on phone so now we see it added another field it says phone number so now we have full name email and phone number simple as that and uh, so this is kind of the, how our form gonna look like here's gonna be your ad fill out the form go to get this special they fill out they click next it's gonna take them to the thank you thank you page 
So uh, we will uh, uh, close this privacy policy. This is the next step. So you want to have a privacy policy on a website. I see on a lot of dealership they don't have it. So if this is you, make sure to contact your web provider. They will um, so they can add it. Uh, because then your ad will not run and Facebook will not approve it. So make sure to have it. So then you will just um, copy and paste the link right here and um, and in pa uh, uh, paste it right here. And after this, uh, that's that's what uh, we're done with privacy policy. This is what I was selling. They will slide to submit after um, after they put the info. So this is this extra step that this uh, that that allows us with higher intent. So after privacy policy review screen, and this is what we have. And the last one step is thank you screen. So after they put the info, it takes them to the thank you page, to the thank you screen. So uh, it's gonna, we're gonna say thanks, you are all set. And here I like to say, hey, um, um, we, we will contact you shortly to set up a appointment or test drive an appointment well you can say you will hear for us short, uh, we'll come to you shortly to set up an appointment uh, with uh, to set up an appointment so so they will expect our call and then from here you can add uh, well you know you can uh, direct them to your website to show them uh, you know other specials you, you know your vehicles you can do the from from here from here on you can do with them uh, it's up to you so you can put on this button say view website download you can uh, if you would have download you can actually have a coupon if you would want to have um, uh, to give them a coupon on this page you can do that uh, and then you can also you know customize the button text uh, you can say download uh, $400 coupon so you can track who actually comes with a coupon and or uh, and then you can website link where you host your coupon image or just to your website right so as this is how you would do this uh let me let me just input here website link real quick and save it so i can move forward all right so here we're all set so then you're gonna click on uh finish and it confirms that everything is green we have green light and that's pretty much it to, to it so this after that you're gonna scroll down to the bottom it says uh your lead form okay it's all cool it was i was missing some fields that's why i just put in um, my privacy policy link and my website so then you're just gonna click confirm and your ad is all set, but we're not done yet. Since we set up a campaign budget optimization, we want to have at least two different ad sets and different targeting. So it's gonna publish our ad as you see it confirming here. So let me uh, let me just show you how to create easily uh, the, next, uh, the second ad set. So from here, you're gonna click on your campaign. You're gonna go to ad sets and you to easier to create another ad set you can actually duplicate this one and just change the targeting so you, as you see if you see here it says duplicate uh, so then you're gonna click on existing campaign and just click duplicate simple as that and it will duplicate our existing uh, ad set and now we just all we need to do is just change the targeting so in this case will be I don't know um, set ons let's say you advertising uh, some uh, Ford Fusion, whatever it is, right? So this is gonna be a second uh, second type of um, cars we want to target. But by the way, I just remember, uh, what I remember with this offer, this is super important, super crucial piece of the piece. With this offer, down payment, a lot of, uh, a, a lot of our targeting is broad. So we, uh, if I would set up this uh, for, specifically for this offer, special offer, we go broad like zero targeting seriously we just pick uh, the uh, you know the location around our dealership that's it and the age that's it keep it simple especially this offer you don't know maybe someone who is not even in the market in the car but they saw that all oh, this offer for hundred dollars payment they will tag that friends who are in market for the car so this is why I like this offer uh, that it's kind of appealing to Everyone it's, it goes viral, and a lot of people tagging and commenting on the friends, and it's getting more exposure and more uh, more people. So that's I just remember that. So I, I was I'm showing you just different options targeting and the potential of Facebook, but for this specific uh, offer, 
uh, you can do broad. By the way, what we can do, we can set up this second uh, second ad set. We could just go, we're gonna say broad. Let's do just broad targeting. Uh, so it's gonna be just broad targeting. Scroll down. Um, no catalog. We have our offer. Twenty miles again, and then we're gonna remove that. Remove this and just keep it broad. So we're gonna target everyone within uh, within dealership within twenty miles, twenty one to forty four. Uh, with our ad and Facebook will optimize trust me just go broad Facebook will optimize and show and give you leads this with this offer uh, So and you can also split test and you will see with these two different ad sets. So then you're gonna uh, click on publish You didn't if you want to change something with an ad set I would not recommend you just keep it simple and keep it published So now let me show you how our final uh, campaign looks like uh, just quick recap so uh, We're going to close this so now, so what we got? So we have campaign, uh, we're going to campaign level. By the way, this is the three levels I was talking about. Campaigns, ad set level, and ads level. So we have one campaign, $400 off down payment. So we go to ad set level, and we have within our campaign, we have two different ad sets. One, we kind of like split testing, right? We have one broad, just targeting everyone. Second, we have uh, targeting SUVs, interest, who are interested in SUVs, right? Uh, but again, in this case, I would just do broad and uh, I would do just uh, broad uh, broad used cars targeting. So instead of SUVs, I would just instead of narrowing down here with SUVs, I would just keep it uh, broad um, used cars targeting um, for this spe specific offer. By the way, it's super important. Every single offer you know that we run for our clients and my students, it's very important to have sp a sp um, a special targeting. Because if you're not targeting the right audience, you're gonna waste a lot of money and you, you're not gonna get any results. So by this is I'm showing you for this campaign, uh, this is the way to go. Again, one broad, one used cars targeting. Uh, so, and, and then within ad set level, we have again, two uh, the same ads of the same copy. You can, uh, you can if you want, you can create another um, picture and just split test and see which one will be working better. But um, that's pretty much how you would set up this campaign. See, this is the steps you need to take. I'll just walk you through everything step by step uh, to set up this campaign. And trust me, if you do uh, everything what I did, what I just show you, you will be, uh, you know, you will be, it, it's gonna work for you. So now uh, at this point, I'll just walk you through everything you need to know. So at this point, uh, most likely you are one of the following who was watching with, with video. By the way, thank you for my, thank you so much for sticking with me till the end because I I know for sure the ones who watched. All the way to the end you're the, the one who are serious about you know taking your business to the next level and you're probably one of the following people you are either a dealership owner you're either working at the dealership right your car salesman maybe a general manager or marketing director uh, or you know you just in this industry automotive industry or you're a social media marketer which is majority of my audiences my audience people so if you're one of these so what you should do next so if you're a dealership owner so if you're dealership owner you have option number one so option number one would you rather you know just save yourself the time and you know have and have someone like me and my team take care uh, of this for you and set up for you the right strategies the right uh, the right implementation and everything with a different uh, uh, with a different uh, ad sets with a different ads to help you sell more cars and take your dealership to the owner and someone who already done you know spend millions of dollars on this so you can uh, so we can do you know straight right um, from the first time so you don't have to mess it with you uh, by yourself and trying to figure it out or maybe you just don't have time uh, you know to set up this as because also you need to monitor them it's not like you set it up and it just just runs and you and that's it and it just you know uh, selling cars no you need to monitor you need to optimize you need to turn off some stuff uh, so because the, maybe the cost goes higher you want to keep uh, have someone on board with it uh, and it's kind of like a full-time job uh, right so so this is the first option number one for you right you could you could have my team and us help you out uh, with your business and uh, help grow uh, your business and help you sell more cars and here uh, also by the way this is a quick disclaimer if you would uh, if you would decide to go with us it's not gonna be cheap uh, anywhere we charge uh, depending on the uh, scope of work depending what uh, what you want to set up what type of uh, and where you want to get your dealership 
uh, anywhere we charge from twenty five hundred to over twenty thousand uh, dollars. Again, depending what will be involved and uh, what needs, uh, what type of uh, service we're gonna provide for you. So, but again, it's not cheap. So. Uh, just a quick disclaimer and you have a second option which is a pretty new option that we uh, start opening up for our clients and uh, so the second option is you can get access to the dealer pro academy so what is dealer pro academy this is the step-by-step -step implementation program that teaches you everything you need to know to increase car sales you know by 30 percent within like 90 days with digital marketing we're teaching you within this program it's a it's a four-week program uh, it's a digital a digital course, right? You, where you log in, uh, you have access. You can you'll be able to log in, watch videos just like this one, a very a very everything detailed and step by step, and learn everything yourself. So if, instead of you know spending money on other companies, marketing companies, you can do it all yourself because on that in that program we're teaching you facebook ads just like this like there's tons of content with every single ad copy so you can just copy and paste everything that already works with uh, all the funnels provided with all the swipe files uh everything uh, within with the templates within the program so also we teach you youtube ads in that program we teach you seo google ads messenger bots everything within one program everything you need to know to take your dealership you know within a couple of years from 40 I know 20 cars to over 100 cars a month this is uh this is the second option for you so these are uh or you have a third option you know again go uh go figure it out all your on your own if you if you're ready to invest in yourself and take your take your uh, business to the next level these are these are two options so right now under this video there is a link where you can click and, and it's going to take you to uh, google forms where you can uh, fill out a quick questionnaire with uh, a few questions asking which option you like uh either you want to work with us and and just we're gonna see if you we're gonna be a good fit and also by you know by filling out that questionnaire we would know if you're a good fit for our program or you a good fit for maybe working uh working with me uh directly so uh, again this is but again, before before filling out the form uh before doing this please because I don't want to we don't work with everyone you know out there so if only do this if you are ready to invest in yourself if you're ready to take your business to the next level and if you're someone who are uh, you know a growth oriented business owner someone who uh, forward-thinking and long-term uh, business owner who wants to kind of who wants to get start growing your business on autopilot setting up ads and uh, you know remove yourself from business so you can have spend more time with your family with your kids uh instead of you know figuring out all uh, figuring out different dealing with these other companies to, uh, figuring out which uh advertising platform uh, you know radio or tv doing next month so you can have everything in one place have all of the strategies for you set up have someone mentoring you getting access to our own also but uh, if you're gonna decide to go with the second option with our dealer pro academy you'll get access to our private community group where you have direct mentorship with me we do live q a calls so uh, if you're gonna if you decide with this go with this only go fill out that questionnaire if you're serious about this if you just you know if you're not serious and you're not ready to invest in your business and in yourself and in your future so uh please don't do this uh it's again it's only for probably five percent who are watching this right now now if you're a social media marketer or if you're a car salesman right who works at the dealership and you want to learn more if you want to learn more uh strategies that we do you have two options right you have uh, watch my other videos there's a lot of cool content on this channel and it's uh and you know and figure out all this stuff on your own you know waste thousands of dollars on split testing trying different figure out other offers after because this is just a few i showed you because you need to have multiple multiple mo multiple offers to run for your clients if you're looking to keep your clients for a long term right if you want to keep it for a year or two years that's on average uh, how um, how how long we keep our clients because we have multiple um offers and strategies in our pocket that are proven to work this is just a, this is what i showed you today it's just guys it's just tip of the iceberg what i'm showing you in the our uh, in our private program uh in our uh, car dealership domination program this is th that stuff is if you were blown away with this type of content and how detailed and precise this what uh, what i showed you on this training 
the the stuff I'm teaching in my uh, in my uh, coaching program is next level. Seriously, this is just the uh, uh, you know tip of the iceberg. In that program, I'm teaching you, giving you all the funnels, templates. Uh, I'm showing you how do we track uh, car sales, how we could up uh, uh, systems. There is so much stuff I can't like. It. Plus, the, I recently uh, relaunched, like last month, I completely relaunched the program from scratch. So, um, so again, you have first option. You can go on your own, trying to figure out, uh, test this, uh, test this stuff, and then uh, and then try to figure out new strategies next month. You're looking for uh, some f uh, free stuff online, or uh, you have option number two. You can save yourself time and headaches. You can, uh, you know, and not losing clients because most likely from the first time, you probably won't be able to deliver results within the first second month, and, and if you're not, you you know you're gonna lose your clients. So so you can get access to my cardio shift donation uh, program two point uh, cardio shift donation two point zero program that we just launched. Uh, so you can provide your clients results, so they will pay you month after month after month. So you don't have to worry about. Uh, you know, keep looking for clients because I know about you, but I like just to get one client, get them amazing results, and then they start referring me to the other de uh, dealership friends who owns dealership in other states and other cities, and then your agency just explodes and grows like that. And this is only possible when you know how to provide amazing results for your clients. So uh, again, you have two options from now on. I, I hope you get some value from this video. Uh, but this is just for again for one percent at this point if you if you're not interested or anything you can just I'm not let it, I'm not making you sit here watching through this you can just leave leave right now from this point but you if you're someone who ready to invest in yourself who ready to to take it to the next level and actually have everything you know everything what we do every single strategy ads uh, funnels already just just on a silver platter just give it to you and just copy and paste and run and deliver results for clients. So, so this is why I put together a, uh, a Cardio Ship Domination 2.0 uh, uh, program. So uh, you, now you have a choice to decide. So which person are you going to be? You're gonna be, you know, 99% of people who watch this video and, you know, feel like you learn a lot of cool stuff but will never actually implement or actually do anything with it. Or you're gonna be person number two who actually 1% of you, this is only 1% of you guys who actually are going to take action on the opportunity I'm gonna be, uh, that I'm presenting you right now and get all my templates, again, all my funnels, scripts, everything you need to, 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 take, to take your business, to take uh, and start dominating this industry. I was sharing, I'm not, uh, there's everything step-by-step -step detailed it's a six week a six week implementation program so uh choose which person you are and if you're person number two if you're ready to you know just to change your life learn how we uh, exact strategies how we get dealership clients and uh, everything and be part of our community join the family i want you to message me on facebook with the three letters cdd just make sure it's capitalized uh, and make message my uh, make sure to message my business page so it's a facebook.com slash Alex Litvinchuk uh, official uh, if I know my my last name is unreal to uh, I know it's hard to uh, spell it so just copy and paste this or, or uh, if you just type Alex uh, Litvin, just copy my it's the easiest way just copy my name on YouTube from uh, and paste it on Facebook search and you'll find uh, my business page is Alex Litvinchuk official this is the exact link and message me but again it's only for one percent who are serious about making this happen who are serious about to uh, start landing clients you know who pay five ten fifteen thousand dollars for uh you know that we have students that are in my program that are landing this type of clients so if you are serious to make this take it to the next level join our join our family and get mentored by someone who has spent millions of dollars on facebook advertising and just give it to you everything i know and, and you know provide with to you all every single strategy funnels templates everything so then again message me on facebook with the three letters c d d make sure it's capitalized c d d and uh, i'll show you exactly once you message me i'll show you exactly what's inside the program uh and then you'll see if you if you want if you like it or not if you're ready to enroll perfect if not move on at this point, guys, uh, I want to say thank you so much, everyone who uh, watched this video. I really appreciate it, who stayed with me till the end. I know it's been pretty long, 
I, I was trying to you know put as much as possible detailed content but this is the exact same step-by-step uh, -step content in our programs either um, either uh, dealer pro academy or a uh, cardioship domination 2.0 Th that stuff again is this is one that you just learned here again it's just tip of the iceberg Th that stuff is just next level so uh, if this video helped you uh, i want you to subscribe for future videos because i'm planning to release more more videos like this very step-by-step -step content so make sure to turn off turn on the notifications so you won't miss on any of those content so subscribe for the future videos and uh, super important leave a like under this video so it will be saved for you so anytime you need to you know uh, go back and look on on this video maybe um, so so you won't lose it make sure to leave a like so it will be saved to your collection and it also it helps videos so more people will see so make sure uh, leave a like and share this vid video with people who you know it's gonna help who are maybe looking for this type of strategies how to uh, how to how to run ads for an automotive industry the right way so make sure to share with them and comment i want you to comment on this video if you have any questions i personally re reviewing every single comment under my videos uh, so comment if you have uh, any questions any uh, suggestions for future content i would really appreciate uh, to uh, i would really want to know guys what would you like to see how can i help you and um, i'm back on youtube pretty much it's i'm gonna produce every single week at least three videos just like this one so again make sure to subscribe so you won't miss on anything and let me, let me know in the comment section what do you want to see in future uh in, in the, this type of videos what do you and check out my previous videos there's a lot of content on this youtube i believe there's over 100 videos uh, uh so make sure to uh, watch these videos uh and step number four check out my website for uh i recently released my website for other valuable content and resources uh, we use I share there's also access to our private uh, to our one of our private groups also there's uh, tools and resources I use there's articles blog posts so there's a lot of amazing content check it out it's uh, www.alexlitvinchuk.com also uh, if you on my YouTube there's a link to my website but this is the easiest way uh, to get to my website so guys this has been Alex and uh, uh, thank you so much for watching and I really, really appreciate every single one of you. I hope I was able to provide value to you. And I hope you have an amazing day and, and absolutely crashing it. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next video. Thank you so much and take care. When they hear the sound of the drum, they'll be saying, oh Lord, here they come. Yeah, here we come.